Jimmy Payer from ArcadingOnline.com, the place you want to be if you enjoy pixelation. And today I'm here to answer a question, which is, what are arcade games? I'm going to just give you the definition. This is just going to be a brief overview of the article. Links to the article will be in the description of this post or this video. But um, the definition of arcade game is what is a game that's coin operated and that you'll typically find installed in public places such as fast food restaurants, movie theaters, and amusement parks. Um, that's the first section. That's the intro of the post. Next section is what exactly are arcade games. Um, I already told you what arcade games were, but they've kind of evolved over time. So when, when before you could find them just in public places and stuff like and they're coin operated and things like that now you can find them on and that obviously they evolved they, they went where the attention was so where before and where the technology was so before you could play them they're coin operated and things like that now they're on phones and um you can, they're on online lines and the thing with that is now they're they're still coin operated it's interesting they're still coin operated they're just not coin operated. That's, I just thought about this. They're still coin operated. They're just not coin operated. Think the way we think. That's where the the, uh, the uh, micro transactions come in. Because on a on, on an arcade game, on a physical game, they have you playing the game, and if you want to, uh, you play you put you pay to play the game. Some games you have to pay, but you pay to play the game, and then. Um, you know, if you want to continue the game, you paid a little bit, you paid a little bit, and then if you want to continue the game after that, you paid a little bit, and you, you know. And then also there are other games where the whole purpose of the game is to play. Like, the whole pay, I mean. That's the, the whole function of the game. But um, but now, with the microtransactions, you, some some of them are free, but you, I'm going to make a whole vi uh, post on this. Uh, some of the games are free. But you pay to get little upgrades, and you pay to do this. So they, it's the same thing, just in a different format. That's interesting. I never thought about that. But um, a little history on arcade games. Next section. They were. I'm just gonna really go over this briefly. They were first invented in the 1920s. Really in 19, 1909, if you consider ski ball an arcade game, and they came in a wide variety of formats. This is a pretty thick section, so I'm not gonna go over everything. Then it technology. Well technology was already there but the introducing of introduction of a uh, more advanced technology came into play and then the first ever arcade game to use electromechanical technology came in and that was uh, Sega's Periscope um, then Taito I can't I don't know I never knew how to pronounce that name but Taito came in and they followed Sega and they they created a two-person soccer simulation game called Crown Soccer Special. I have my laptop right here, by the way. This is my baby. I had to get a new one, but this is my laptop. Every laptop I have is my baby. Uh, but they created Crown Soccer Special. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Then there are other games that followed that, which were Jet Rocket, Killer Shark, Wild Gunman, F1, Space Invaders, a big name. The other ones were cool, or they're pretty popular, but Space Invaders, everyone knows Space Invaders. You don't even have to play game. Okay, yeah, Space Invaders is something you know. Um, and then, this is how they evolved through over, over history. There's physical games, and which is skee-ball, and size of the alley, and then there were coin-operated, which were heavy, re heavily regu hey, regulated by states, and games such as pinball machines. And then there's coin-operated video games, which is Galaxy Game, Pong, Gunfight, or examples. And then there's the Golden Age of arcade game development, which was um, really basically when I think arcade games hit critical mass. And then after that, the decline happened. And but uh, now gaming has gotten more involved. That's when arcade game. That's this is how I think about it. This is how that's when arcade gaming hit critical mass, but then it um just the value in arcade game just transferred to something else. So now we have like video like arcade games with that are a little bit more technologically advanced, like Mario Kart and you know uh, it's not in that same format really. And that's pretty much it. Now if you like the video 
to like it and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this in the future. You'll hear from me next time. Peace.